Hey, welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. I'm Landon Dallasy. I'm Rebecca Felgate. And I'm Danny Burke. They said that three people in one video could never be done. They said it was impossible. Well, I think we proved them wrong. And now we're back for a part two of this series. So this right here is the top 10 funniest tweets part two. So let's just get right into it. Let's get right into the laughs. And also let us know what top 10 video should we create next. Let us know in the comment section below. Starting off this list at number 10, we have everybody's thoughts when they're studying for an exam. Tweeted out by Patrick Mark Ryan, this tweeter pretty much sums up the modern dilemma as they write, I'm done learning new things until someone can prove that we won't have Google forever. I feel you Patrick, although I guess it's good to know that um, if the power goes out you'll still have some knowledge. But yay for Google. Alright at number 9, Josh shares a conversation with his wife. Wife, why is your back all scratched up? Flashback to me chasing a raccoon after she told me to leave it alone. Me. I'm having an affair. Yeah, I relate to this kind of stubbornness in my life. If my girlfriend ever tells me to not do something because it will definitely go wrong, and I do it, and it goes wrong, I kind of struggle to admit that I shouldn't have done it. It's just called being stubborn. But remember guys, honesty is the best policy. If you mess up, just admit that you shouldn't have chased a raccoon until it started to attack you. It's a big life lesson. I think it's called being male. At number 8 we have this, food $200, data $150, rent $800, candles $3,600, and utilities $150. Someone who is good at economy, please help me budget this. My family is dying. This got retweeted thousands of times and someone replied to them saying, spend less on candles. If this post is an honest post, this person has been spending $3,600 on candles, I'm not even sure what you would do with so much. Like, what the heck is going on? Your family is dying. Your Barely buying food, but yet you're buying candles. This is just so ridiculous. This person actually replied back saying no to the person who said, you know, spend less on candles. So they're pretty abdomen about this. They need their candles. Well, I think then you should cut your food budget because who needs food? You should take all your money and just spend it into these candles if they're so precious to you. Okay, moving on to number seven. To the girl crying on this bus, stop. If it were okay to cry on the bus, we'd all be doing it. Yeah, I love this one. It manages to turn crying into something funny. It's kind of weird how we all just quietly agreed that we shouldn't show any emotion on public transport. Now, is that a bit strange in a way? Kinda. But until we decide that it's okay to cry on a bus, this guy is letting everyone know that it's not fair. He wants to cry too. Next up, we have some thoughts on relationships in at number six from Brian Gar. Brian is a professional funny man, otherwise known as a comedian. So, yeah. Comedians are often funniest when they draw from real life, and I think this is why a lot of boyfriends out there will enjoy this one. Brian tweets, relationships are mostly just you apologizing for saying something hilarious. Which, actually, I think my boyfriend would find true and I find pretty true as well. Never make a joke at a female's expense, guys. It's just rule number one. Don't do it, even if you think it's hilarious. Now, moving into number five, Sarah tweeted this. My husband is homesick from work today and it's like having 1,000 babies. I thought this was super funny because you know what, I gotta admit it, I, I kinda relate to this one. My fiance tells me all the time I'm so hard to take care of when I'm sick. Or just recently I had surgery and apparently I was like the worst patient ever. I needed her for everything. I was not capable of doing anything for myself. So let me ask you guys, are you bad at being sick? I don't know, do we demand too much? I just thought this one was a really funny tweet because a lot of people can relate to it. Danny, are you a good sick person? I'm a sick sick person, yeah. No, but like, are you good at it? Like, do you complain a lot? Yeah, I've, I, I suffer from man flu quite a lot, which is basically just a normal cold, but crying about it for a few days. So. You, you cry when you're sick? Yeah, I cry a lot. Up next, we have some sports-related observations. Do you guys like watching sports? I always enjoy seeing slightly less popular sporting events on TV, like the ping pong, for example, during the Olympics. When else do you get to see grown adults playing ping pong for glory? The only thing is, the players always have this kind of like glazed look over their eyes, and until now, I couldn't really figure out what it meant. That was until I read this next tweet. Shut up Mike Jin wrote, watching Olympic ping pong and the guys faces all have the same dull look that says, it's too late for me to be this good at something else. It's a little bit like when I watch myself hosting YouTube videos. Like, 
All right, guys, we've reached number three. Cohen is a ghost says the most cutting thing you can say is who's this clown because it implies they're a a clown and b not even one of the better known clowns. I love people who overanalyze common sayings or phrases because I do that quite a lot too. Too much probably. They made a pretty harmless insult into a pretty brutal one. But I'm kind of wondering who are the best known clowns? Is that a thing? I know Krusty. But uh, apart from that, I'm probably going to have to ask who this clown is quite a lot. Now at number two, we have this. This tweet reads, The new option on Facebook looks like the life cycle of every relationship I've ever had. So it starts off with a thumbs up emotion, which is, you know, a good feeling. And then you can see the heart. So this is when Melanie is in love and then she becomes super happy about it. But then things get hard and Melanie then becomes shocked and then she starts to cry. And then finally, she's very upset. But yeah, I guess this really makes sense. It's a common cycle in relationships. Okay, finally, we have a YouTube related tweet to finish things off. At Liz Hackett writes, YouTube is great when you want to learn that anyone can be famous, but most people shouldn't be. No comment other than lol. Alright guys, there you have it. That was part two of our funniest tweets. We hope you enjoyed it. Let us know how you felt down below in the comments section. Also, don't forget that you can send stuff to us using our PO box, which is where, London? It's located on you actually, right on your head. Right oh. over Danny's head. Right. You guys can send us stuff in the PO box and we'll open up fan mail. Yay! I really like that. People send us little drawings. In fact, I feel like you should draw these guys. Tweet it. And you yeah. even got a cup. Give me a cup. Oh, I like my cup. Thank you, Hannah. Okay, there, guys, if you like this video, make sure you show us by giving it a good thumbs up, sharing it with a friend, and of course, staying subscribed to Most Amazing Top 10 for more of the three of us all day, every day. Twice a day, in fact. Yeah. <laughs> all right, see you in a bit. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>